Fit Intent Nation. It is day 50 of the Fit Intent Challenge. Day 50, if you can believe it. And hopefully you'll be coming to class this morning, 10.15, of course. By the time you get this video, of course, you will. the class will be done. So hopefully you came and hopefully you had a good time. Uh, tomorrow we are going to go to Costco. So please, um, you know, if you haven't, let me know. If you want to come, let me know if you haven't already. And you can meet me there at Costco or you can ride with me. Just let me know, okay? Alrighty, and if you have not booked your, your body fat scans, they've started today, book your fat scan with me ASAP. All right, question here. This person says, I lost four pounds, well, 3.8 pounds this week. Is this normal? Yes, it's totally normal. Okay, um, I don't know if you're weighing yourself every morning or when you're weighing yourself. Um, I weigh myself in the morning and at night, and overnight, I typically lose about six pounds. On average, I lose about six pounds, okay? So wake up at a certain weight. Now, if I weigh myself every morning, what's happening with my weight? Well, I'm dropping weight right now, so I can see a trend there. But, you know, you can't look at weight on a daily basis. You just can't. There's too many factors that affect it. What you need to do is look at weight over time, okay? Look at weight over time, over weeks, okay? Uh, at least a few weeks, okay? Three weeks is reasonable. Four weeks, five weeks. The longer the period within reason, obviously, the better, okay? Because there's other factors that are going to affect your weight, okay? In terms of, you know, water retention. Weight does not tell you the whole picture, okay? Maybe out of that four pounds you lost that week, you lost a pound of fat, you actually lost a pound of tissue, and the rest was water, okay? It's hard to say, especially with females, hormones are going, um, they're, they're going through, well, you're going through a hormonal cycle through the month, right? So your, your water retention will change, all right? Okay, uh, this person also asked about, so just to clear the air, you lost four pounds this week, it's normal. Don't worry about it. Um, they're talking about carbs in a wrap and it says there's only seven grams of carbs. Um, there's sugar alcohol in here, so sugar alcohol will not affect you. Um, as far as I know, they, do, they, give, they give it diabetic, so it better be right. Right, so um, it's not gonna affect your blood sugar levels at least. Um, now, yeah, they're claiming that all the fiber is free. Well, if it's all, if it's all um, insoluble fiber, then yeah, it's free. Um, but it probably isn't, so it's not all free. And this is where manufacturers are not being completely honest or they're just ignorant, they don't know. So, you know, uh, you know I already gave you my rule for, for, for soluble, well, for fiber in general. Um, maybe this is all soluble fiber, but I highly doubt it. Not in a wrap, they're gonna have some soluble fiber in there. So, um, not totally accurate, but whatever. Listen, we're probably talking about a few grams of, of uh, soluble fiber, which is gonna be at like, let, let's say it's three or four grams of soluble fiber. Let's say worst case scenario, all, uh, all, how many, 11 grams are soluble. Well, actually, I don't know how much of that is the sugar alcohol. Whatever, you're talking about two calories a gram. Okay, so don't worry about it too, too much. Um, but you had mentioned that you put this in your diet, so you're a little bit lower in carbs, perhaps. Is this why you lost the weight? Uh, I would say no. It's uh, having a few less grams of carbs every day is not gonna lose four pounds in that week, okay? Um, also, we have one more question here. How are we doing? Okay, we're doing good for time. Uh, also, would you mind talking about about body weight workouts versus weight workouts. Are body weight workouts considered cardio or strength? Thanks. Okay, this is relative, okay? Um, if I put my grandma on a body weight workout, she it's gonna be strength. Wholeheartedly, it's going to be strength because she doesn't do anything. In fact, when she had her hip replacement and the doctor told her to do exercises on her bed, she just would go to her bed and lie there and fall asleep. She wouldn't do anything. She'd just lie on the bed and fall asleep. So uh, my grandma is like, she's 92 and uh, she just, she doesn't even know what exercise is. So, um, but if I were to have her to do like, let's say, I don't know, well she can't, but let's say she could do like some quarter squats or like a push up off the table. Oh, yeah, that's gonna totally increase your strength because she does nothing, right? So relatively speaking, that's going to increase your strength. Okay, yoga would increase her strength because she doesn't do anything. Now for somebody like yourself, who's already weight training, of course, it depends on your body weight as well. Um, there would be certain movements that would be considered strength. So if I asked you to do a full push-up, um, and I'm, I'm looking at you here, I'm gonna say you probably can't do that many full push-ups, okay? With really good full push-ups. So that would be strength, 
okay? For somebody like me, it's not gonna be strength because I can do, um, well, I haven't tried. Last time I tried, I did, it was, I was late for class, so I had to do 50 push-ups, and I did 50 push-ups, and it was pretty easy. So, um, it's, that's not strength for me. So it's really relative to the person, okay? It's kind of like asking, it's the, same, it's the same thing as asking, okay, we're gonna do some squats. Is 50 pounds for strength or cardio? Depends, okay? 50 pounds might be strength for somebody who can't, who can only, if they can only squat it five times and they reach to failure, that's strength for them. If you put me under the bar and I do it, I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna squat it like a thousand times. It's not, I'm not gonna get any strength from it. Does that make sense? Okay, so it's just relative to where you are and what you're doing, okay? But I can tell you this much, body weight workouts over time, if you keep with a body weight workout, then uh, chances are it's, it's gonna, you're, you're gonna get better and better and eventually it's just gonna go out of strength and to in, uh, into more of muscular endurance, okay? Or muscular hypertrophy and then eventually muscular endurance because you're just gonna get, you'll get stronger and then eventually you're gonna need more resistance that's not there because, you know, unless you're, I don't know, getting more weight, right? You're getting fatter or something. Okay, does that make sense? I hope so. All right, message of the day, my favorite message and for some reason, I thought I told you guys this message, but I don't have note that I did. So I'm going to assume that I have not. And, and if I have, well, let's listen to this one again because it is my all-time or one of my all-time favorites. And it goes like this. And I always remind myself of this one. Don't forget, you can start late. You can start over. You can be unsure. You can act differently. Uh, you can try and fail. And you can still succeed. Okay, don't forget, you can start late, you can start over, you can be unsure, you can act differently, you can try and fail, and you can still succeed. Okay, so this is really, really, really important to remember, like, you know, um, because a lot of people when they try something, if they feel like they're not doing very well at it, um, or they feel like they, you know, they've, they've messed up a few times. They're going to, you know, I, I mean, I, I went through this many times and I'm like, okay, I'm not cut out for this. I shouldn't do it. But the reality is, is that, you know, those will, who will do, will just keep, will keep forging ahead until they do it. That's just the reality. Okay. Um, within reason, obviously, right. We're not asking for some, something, you know, superhuman here, but just for in general tasks in life, if you keep working towards something, you know, you, you will succeed, okay? So keep pushing forward and uh, keep a positive mindset, right? Positive mindset. All right, submit commit, you guys. Uh, hopefully you will be joining me tomorrow for our Costco shop and uh, it should be fun, should be uh, entertaining and uh, I'm gonna try to go through as much as we can and not make it too, too long, okay? Last, last shop was like three hours, okay? So we're gonna try to make it faster than that if we can. All right, submit commit. I'll talk to you guys all soon. See you guys.